we're chuckling about the fact that the microphones are giving us problems. So it's just an internal thing. Don't worry about it. <laughs> but thanks for watching Mornings with Laurie and Larry. Thank you for being here. He's a wonderful author. Oh, Amy let's Wallace just, here. Let's just go ahead and tell everybody that you complain about the mics every single day. Yeah, most days. <laughs> most, most days. But there's always something to complain about the mics. You know, I know they like them. I know they sound good. But these silly little things always. You want those big old mics that would cover I us up. I want something. I don't have to worry about this thing. You know, you, you want those old-fashioned 1950s my microphones. Well, because these things, you know, they, they, they're fine as long as they stay in place. But they don't stay in place. They tend not to. If you move your head, the mic moves. Oh, you got to move your mic down. You got to move your mic up. You, you, I, I, I just scratch my nose and I hit the mic. You know, it's kind of crazy. So that's, that's an internal thing. But you know what? We have got so Forget many us callers. Forget about we chat internally. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't pay yeah. any attention to us. We're, we're just taking we're care of this. We're so blessed to have Amy Wallace with us. And we're so glad she lives in the Atlanta area so she can come in every time she writes a new book. The new one is called Healing Promises. And it's the second in the Defender, uh, Defenders of Hope series. Let's go straight to the we phone got a bunch lines. Of calls. Yeah. yeah, people have been real patient. Let's go to Ann from Texas first. Good morning, Ann. Good morning. How are you? How y'all doing? We're Good. Fine. What part of Texas are you calling from? I'm calling from Texarkana. Great, great. Well, you got a question for Amy so that you can earn a book? Yes. I was I was wanting to get in on the part where it say, can God be trusted? Yeah. And I was wondering, how can he not be trusted when we all know that he is the creator of the world and the nation and us. And we also know that it's nothing that God can't do. So how can we not trust him? Well, that's a great question, <laughs> Anne, and you have earned a book. And, Amy, wh what did your characters conclude at the end of the book? Can God be trusted? Well, obviously, yes, they concluded that God can be trusted because you're absolutely right, Anne. How can God not be trusted? I think the question comes from the pain that people go through and when life hurts and when things just keep coming at you, you kind of cry out and go, God, where are you? And God, why aren't you fixing this? And so I think that's where the question comes from. And I think we all go through that. When pain happens, when, when trials come, we, we kind of look up at heaven and go, God, you could fix this. We know you could fix this. Why aren't you? But your two characters, the man and the wife, um, have totally different reactions. One goes closer to God and one is talking and the kind of questions you're talking about. Right. And yet later in the book, they kind of reverse roles. They do. Um, Sarah, the, the doctor, she kind of takes it on herself, and she has to come to face-to-face -to -face with the issue of who do I depend on? Do I really depend on God, or am I depending on all the people around me? And then Clint, at the beginning, really clings to God, and then as he gets weaker and weaker, he just tries to push and push and prove himself. Yeah, at one point in the book, I said, Sarah ought to put out a horsehair shirt. I mean, she was just, she was, she, oh, oh my, I can't do that. I can't, I can't deal with this cancer. I can't be a good mother. I can't be a good doctor. Lady, come on. <laughs> <laughs> but don't some of us, when we're going through oh, yeah. horrible trials like that, feel that way? Well, she finally came yeah. around, but I thought, oh, God, lady, yeah. please. Yeah. <laughs> well, Ann, you are getting a book shipped out to you today. And let's go to, it looks like Alexandra from Virginia. Hi, guys. Oh, hi. Hey, good morning. Hi. How are you? Oh, well, hello. It sounds like you really want one of these books. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I, I really, it's so funny because I'm driving along. I've never turned on the radio at the morning show with you guys, and I just happened to do it this morning, and then you guys are talking about, you know, the book uh, Promises. Um, healing Promises. Healing Promises, and I, I'm very interested in reading it, and also with the author because um, I'm writing my own book. Oh. You are? Is, are you? This is God's hand right here in it. Well, you need to ask Amy about some promotional ideas for your book. I mean, <laughs> she's got a chocolate bar and a puzzle. and well, Yeah, so you want to ask Amy some advice? Yes, Amy, um, it's so nice of you to come on the show and talk for everyone to hear and to promote your book. I'm really interested in reading it. But also, what I want to ask you is, when you finish writing your story, how do you, how do you get it out and about in circulation? Like, what do you do? That's a great question. Um, one of the best things to do is to be part of a writer's group. Um, they have, the American Christian Fiction Writers is the group that I'm a part of. They are a okay. phenomenal group of people. Um, my publisher uh, also takes a lot of the role in getting the word out, in letting bookstores know, in getting radio and TV interviews and things like that. So it's a, it's a partnership between my publisher and I and the public. I think she's asking how do you get published? Right. Oh, okay. That's <laughs> how, how do you get a publisher? I mean, that's um, like... And again, going back to the writer's group, that's a great way okay. to meet 
um, agents and editors in this day and age, getting an agent is probably your best bet because they are a great champion for you in the midst of all the people that are trying to get published. They will really champion your books to the different publishers. Um, the other thing is just to write the best book you can, to work with other people. I have two critique partners that read everything I do before I even send it to my editor. Alexander, yeah. how long, Alexander, how long have you been writing it and what stage are you in this book? You at the, at the, well, uh, the, the funny ahead. thing is, is I, it's my story because I, um, I have a very, a very, very troubled past. Um, you know, I was abused and I was a sinner for a very long time until I was saved in 2005. And God's been pushing me to write this story because he keeps telling me, you know, if I can take something of you and make something so great out of your life, people need to know about this. Mm. Yeah. So is that so, the manuscript stage or have you got a manuscript put together? I, I'm halfway through it. You see, okay. I keep doing it and then I keep tossing it because it's so in-depth. It's so real. It's so... But it's your very life. painful. It's my life, and it's very painful. I keep trashing it, and I keep talking to God. I don't want people to know this about me, but he's like, no, they need to know. They need to know the reality of, because they need to connect what you're going through. Well, you know, Alexander, nonfiction is a little bit different than fiction. You don't have to write the whole book first to get an agent or a an editor. You have to do a book proposal. So okay. you can just kind of do a chapter outline and write a couple of sample chapters. Um, I would recommend, based on my experience, a writer's conference like Glorietta. There, we talked about Glorietta, New Mexico yesterday when we were giving away camp scholarships, but they have a writer's conference every year. And I think you've been to a different writer's yes. conference. Yes, um, ACFW does a conference every year in September. And next year it's in Minnesota, or this year it's in Minnesota. Last year it was in Texas. So, and how, that's a phenomenal. How, how, how can I find out information on these conferences? You can go to acfw.com. That's a website that with the American Christian Fiction Writers. There's also, you can Google Mount Hermon, which is another phenomenal yeah, writer's it conference. It has a great reputation. You can probably Google uh, Glorietta Writers Conference and find that too.